This video isn't really a review, it's more a techie thing about converting the new AirCore PowerCore to uh, Spectrum compatible so you can use it with your uh, Spectrum compatible radios. Now here's what the PowerCore looks like. It's got a brushless motor on the front here which plugs into uh, a brushless ESC, electronic speed control, and it's got three servos here and on the bottom it's got the tactic four channel receiver so here's the instruction manual that came with the power core and the idea behind this thing is this power core can be inserted into the various models of planes that uh, Flyzone makes for it, the air core series uh, they've got the principal trainer which is this one here They've got the FW-190, the Mustang Kathy 2, and my favorite, the Mustang Miss America. Very colorful. They also have the Spitfire. That's a nice plane. And they've got the Zeros in white and in green. And also an ME-109. And they say there's some other airframes coming. Um, don't know when, but they supposedly have them. Now, because it has the tactic receiver on it, four-channel receiver, it works with uh, such radios as this, the tactic series radios that have the SLT technology. And uh, I've heard it also works with uh, one or some of the Aurora model radios that have SLT technology can't verify that but I think I heard it. Now also you can use the AnyLink which is this device here to uh, convert other radios into uh, SLT and I've done that on the back of my radio my DX6i right here. If I turn it around you can see I've got the AnyLink on the back of it and as a uh, Typically done with the AnyLink, you just go ahead and plug one wire into the trainer port, like that, and plug the other wire where you would normally uh, plug in the power adapter, like that. And once you plug it in, you can go ahead and power up the power core. So here's my power core and uh, it's got a little micro uh, Dean's plug on it and the battery that comes with it has a micro Dean's plug on it and a standard uh, balance plug which is nice. So you might need to get a micro Dean's plug and make you up a little charger lead for your charger. But anyway when you plug this in you'll get the customary beeps And there you go. Now sometimes it won't start if uh, your throttle trims aren't quite right. I had to actually lower my throttle trims because there was a point where it would not bind, would not start up. So I guess I could demo that. So I'll just restart the radio. Alright, now what I did was I centered my throttle trim here, so it's actually in the middle, like that. Now, let's plug in the power unit again. Now, hear that rapid beeping? Now, even though my throttle trim is centered, my throttle is down, it's complaining. So what you have to do, they say in the directions, move your throttle stick around. Well, that doesn't work. What you have to do is trim the throttle down negative, like I'm going negative, and finally the beeps will stop, and now it works. And after you get it bound, you can go back up with your throttle near to the center. 
not too far it'll run on its own like that so then you just back off to it stops now you got it but that's just a little aberration that I don't know it has to do with the any link or whatever but it does the same thing uh, when I mount the spectrum receiver on here and that's the whole point of this video I'm gonna take this Hobby King R415 receiver which is a four channel receiver and replace the tactic four channel receiver now any tactic uh, or any I should say any fly zone plane that has this tactic receiver in it you can go ahead and replace it with this Hobby King 415 it's an R415 now if you're talking about some of the smaller planes like the one cell ultra micros like the DR1 or uh, the Newport I'm trying to think of all the different ones they got a whole bunch of them but uh, those one cell jobs you cannot use this receiver you have to get like an AR6400 block or brick they call it and uh, that costs quite a bit of money to convert those little planes but in this case this receiver here from Hobby King only cost about ten bucks so this is a cheap and doable conversion if you don't want to use the AnyLink with your spectrum compatible radios okay here's a a little uh, diagram of the two receivers and uh, you might want to grab a frame off this video and just print this out because this is how I'm going to be wiring it up alright so a brief explanation here's the tactic receiver here and you can see you have channels 1, 2, 3, and 4 and underneath that I have aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder so that gives you an idea where the wires go. Now on the Hobby King receiver we have the throttle here on channel 1, aileron channel 2, elevator channel 3, and rudder channel 4. So they kind of go around like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is the LED that lights up right there. And this is the bind plug. That's a nice thing about these Spectrum ones. They do have a bind plug, so they won't bind to anything else unless you have that plug on there. And uh, the tactic, the LED, is up uh, right in here. Now, this little line here is just the antenna wire. That represents the antenna wire. I've got one on here, too, on the R415. And that's all, that's all there is to it. So now the plugs are compatible so the servo plugs are compatible with the Hobby King when you unplug them from the uh, power core you can just plug them right into the Hobby King uh, receiver and they fit right in you just have to put you know one the number one plug into the number one socket here two goes into two three goes into three and four goes into four. So using my diagram here, I'm just uh, moving the wires over to the Hobby King board one at a time. And they basically just unplug. And just grab them with your fingernails, if you got any. And then plug it back in on the Hobby King board. And once you get it in the socket, just push it in, like that. And now all the wires are on. Okay, next thing to do is uh, just remove this piece of Velcro. That's what holds the battery on. We'll have to put another piece on there. The battery's already got Velcro, so we just need to put a piece on when we're done. Okay, next thing is to just go ahead and cut this heat shrink. Like that. Being careful not to draw any blood. You can see the receiver right there, that's what we want. And there it is. That's the tactic receiver. 
and just put that aside. And then we want to lay in the Hobby King receiver in his place. Now, the heat shrink fits nicely right back like it was, but it's not going to stay now, so we're going to have to put some tape around it. Now I have some uh, 3M transport tape that I bought. It's kind of a medical grade tape. You can also use Blenderm. And uh, I have a roll of Blenderm right here. And that's also uh, 3M. So that's Blenderm. Either one, I found this was a little less expensive to use the transport. And we're just going to go ahead and wrap a piece of tape around it. Okay, let's go ahead and test it and see how it works. So first thing is we have to bind the Hobby King R415 to our radio. And I'm going to be using the DX8 as an example. You could even use the Hobby King uh, Orange RX Spectrum radios if you wanted to. They're Spectrum compatible, pardon me. Uh, this is a real Spectrum. So let's put the bind plug on there. And then I'm going to plug on the battery. You can hear the beep, so we know it's working. And you can see the uh, light flashing right here, indicating that it's in bind mode, waiting to be bound. Okay. Next thing we do is hold down the button on the radio here, that button. And turn on the radio. Now the radio is coming on. And it says binding. Now the light just went solid on the receiver right there. But you can hear those rapid beeps again. And that's because of the throttle. So we just move this down until the beeps stop. See how I trimmed that down? And after they stop, you can move it back up. Some, and the motor will start running at a certain point, and then just back off. All right, now we're bound. Servos are working. Does the motor work? Yes. So there you go. At that point you can just pull the bind plug off because we don't need it anymore. And we're ready to fly. Uh, I guess I better mention you need to put a little piece of velcro here to mount the battery on. So I'm just doing that as the final step. Because I tore the other piece off when I opened up the heat shrink. and. Ta -da. So there's my converted power core that now works with all my Spectrum radios and no more need for the Anylink. So I got a leftover Tactic 4 channel receiver. Pretty cool, huh? Anyone want to buy it?